Hi guys, uh, so I'm gonna show you how to warm up today because you should warm up before every workout. It's very important. If you don't warm up, then your body's gonna ache and you're gonna jump into things too fast. So I'm gonna show you what I do, what I have my classes do, what I have my clients do. Super simple stuff. It's about 10 minutes. You should do this before every workout that I give you. So the first thing I want you guys to do is either do a five minute jog or a run. You can row a 500 if you're lucky enough to have a rower. If you have a jump rope, do like three minutes of jumping. It can be double unders, it can be singles, it can be whatever you want. I just need you to move. After you get that blood pumping and you're moving and you're feeling warm, then I'm gonna put you through three things and I'll show you what they are. Inchworms, squats, and Spider-Mans. And then I think you're pretty good to go. So depending on the workout, I might have you do a couple more stretches, which will be shown in the videos of the workouts. But for now, this is just super general. Starting with inchworms, you're gonna do 10. So before you start every workout, start by touching your toes. So you get a hamstring stretch, hold this for a sec. Walk your way out to a push-up. Give me as much of a push-up as you can, either here or on your knees, and then walk your way up. And that's one. Do 10 of those. You can move when you do them. I don't care. Just give me 10, 10 inchworms. Swing your arms a little bit. If you're tight here, which you're gonna be because you're doing lots of burpees, uh, keep moving your arms. The second one I'm gonna have you do is squats. And so all you're doing is, if you haven't watched my video on how to do squats, like, stop this video right now and go watch it because you need to learn how to do a squat before this. Push your butt back, sit in the squat position and stand, give me 10. You, if you're feeling super tight in the hip flexors, then what I do is I kind of sit at the bottom of my squat or I make sure that I wiggle around or, can you come over here? Or I use a pole to make sure that I can get that depth without compromising my, my back positioning. And then the last thing I want you guys to do is Spider-Man stretch, the best superhero in the world. Take a big step, you're gonna drop that chest, and this is just a really good hip flexor stretch. Hold this for a couple seconds, step back, and then switch, and do that 10 times, back and forth. And that is just a good way to get your legs moving a little bit, your arms moving a bit. Super easy warm up, 10 minutes or less, do it before every workout. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, <laughs> stop it.